Alabama Crimson Tide, the number 18 team in the country. They started off the season on a four-game winning streak. And then look who they lost to. Ha! <laughs> Funny how they're playing each other on Monday in real life for the national championship game. Is this any indication that... Nah, let me stop playing. And then they beat Ole Miss, Tennessee, and now they got Alabama State in the gump town. Now the battle for the ACC championship game is pretty tight. You got South Carolina and Florida still battling it out in the East. And then if you look at the West, you got LSU and you got Alabama, the only two teams left that are still in the hunt. Everybody else at this point is pretty much out of it. So here we go. It's number 18 versus number 23. We're still not getting no respect in the polls after that loss to the Southern Jaguars. Last week, we took a heartbreaker, heartbreaking loss to the Southern Jaguars, as a matter of fact. We fell 10 spots. We fell from 13 all the way down to number 23. Despite the fact that we beat two ranked teams so far this season, we beat Cal, they was ranked number 17, and then we beat uh, the Iowa Hawkeyes when they was ranked number 20. We go into this game looking to send a message to the poll voters that they dropped us too far. It makes no sense that we beat two ranked teams and they dropped us like that after losing to Southern in a close game. So there goes Courtney Russell. He's their impact player at running back. Alabama's favorite to win this game. Even Lee Corso put on the Big Al helmet. Well, mascot. So there goes Mike Young. He's out for the season. So they got Courtney Russell taking his spot. How ironic that Courtney Russell is their impact player at running back. 90 overall with 94 speed. And then you look at the wide receiver position. They got Ryan Fine, 88 overall. A balanced receiver. Uh, got good size too at 6'3", 194. On the defensive side of the ball, Brent Hampton is their impact player. But look who's back for us. Lawrence Taylor Morton. No, that's not his middle name for real. That just sounds cool. I didn't make that up though. Shout out to all dog. But here we go with the gameplay. Now today we're looking to put on a big performance for the fans and send a message to the voters that we deserve to be higher in the polls. But as the game kicks off, there goes Peter Burnett dropping a dot to Marcus Williams. The halfback direct to the man all the way from VA. He goes up the right side. Look at the power. Oh, he got near the red zone, but not quite. That's okay. Just outside the red zone, though. 21 yard line, Peter Burnett. That got deflected by the Alabama defense. Second and 10 at the 21. We give it to Chambers. He takes it to the right side. He tries to make a man miss, but it gets tackled at the five yard line. And look at that. We're going to tack on some more yards. That's probably, yes, that's an incidental face mask penalty. So now we tack on five. We're at the two-yard line. We give it to our big running back from the gump town, Leon Henderson, and he goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Two-yard run, great way to start the game. But here come the tide on offense, and there goes Courtney Russell meeting Jason Moore, our big-time cornerback. There goes Russell again, this time meeting Colin Robinson. Third and seven at the 26. It's a play action fake. Stevens rolling out to the right. He pops it. It's deflected and picked up by Lawrence Martin. Welcome back. Martin. Martin. That's what I'm talking about, Lawrence Martin. Back in the lineup doing what he does best. We miss you over those last five games. And there goes Justin Chambers getting yet another touchdown. Adding on to his stellar career. Justin Chambers should have at least 80 touchdowns in his career by now. So Bama's back on offense. J Jason Moore once again on the tackle. He now has two tackles for loss. Second and 15. There goes Russell once again with the halfback pass, and that pass is dropped. It's dropped by the impact player fine. Stevens on third down. Dropping back and popping it, and he's letting it fly. And that's incomplete. Great play there by Kyle Gray. Now we're back on offense. We try to run a play action fake, but Keys is not fooled by that play. So second and long, Burnett once again popping it to Kevin Scott, and that's picked off by Patrick, and he's going the other way, but Justin Chambers forces him out of bounds. 
Peter Burnett with a bad start to this game. On first and goal, though. Back with the tie. There goes Russell up the gut. Touchdown. Crimson Tide. So, we decide to bench Peter Burnett for the rest of the game. We're going to go with Bobby Newton the rest of the way with this game. We need somebody with a little bit more experience if we're talking about beating this team. Bobby Newton did it last year, and I'm pretty sure he could do it this year. I'm very confident in him. But look at Gene Speedy Singleton, though, showing the power. See, he's not just a speed back. His tackle rate is in the 80s. Speaking of break tackle rate, and look at Chambers going up the left side. So it's 14 to 7 at the end of the first quarter. We're up. We're striving. And we're looking to extend our lead even more. There goes the man all the way from Vieto. He rarely caught passes in his career. This could be his last season too with us, man. I've just not thought about that. This could be his last season with us. As well, well, this is definitely Kevin Scott's last season. Gene Singleton, he might dip on us after this season too. As well as a few others. But as we get the ball, there goes Tim Brown. Tim Brown with a big catch. And now we're driving some more. Bobby Newton, though. A late pass. And Kevin Scott couldn't haul that in. That was impossible with two defenders. So second and ten. We call a hot rock. We're giving it back to Gene Speedy Singleton. Look at the stiff arm. Look at the stiff arm. By the LSU transfer. 33, though. Kevin Scott. First down. Kevin Scott has power, too. He just need to work on his hands. He's still inconsistent. Oh, but there goes Justin Chambers. Stiff arm with another guy. Getting closer to the end zone. 35. We're going with the end around once again. And we don't pick up the first down. So we're going forward on fourth and two. Chambers with the handoff. We don't get it. We don't get it. Yeah. Bama defense filling themselves. But there goes Lawrence Martin on the safety. A layup. A dunk. We'll take those two points. And now we're up 16 to 7. We're back on offense. We got all the momentum at the 35. Newton looking deep for Kevin Scott. And he hauls in the pass. 10. And he's tackled at the five yard line. What a catch by baby Randy Moss. Gene Singleton. He can't get there, but there's a flag on the play. And it looks like it's going to be another face mask on Bama. It's another incidental. We tackle on five. That puts us back at the two-yard line. We're going back to our big running back, the red shirt freshman out of the gump town. Touchdown, Alabama State. We add on to our lead, and now this defense is turning up. Blake Koch with the sack there. Another play action for Bama. That was caught by the grass. I don't know what he was doing on that play. Look at Stevens, and that's deflected away by Justice Scott. Justice Scott has not had an interception since that Iowa game. And it's so disappointing. He has three on the season, and all three were huge plays. But look at G. Speedy Singleton going off the right side on the punt return. 10-5, house call, touchdown, Alabama State. G. Speedy Singleton showing what he can do on the special teams. And now our defense is showing up. They're motivated. They're looking to beat the crap out of this Alabama football team that came in at 6-1 and, and ranked number 18 in the country and showed them that they are way better than they are. Look at uh, Justin Chambers getting that catch in the flat. Second and one. Newton stepping back to pass once again. Gets hit as he throws. And that's deflected away. Third and one now. We're going back to the run. Gene, can he get there? It's fourth and inches. He didn't get there. We're going to try this again. Justin Chambers up the gut. Breaking a tackle and first down for the Hornets. We're moving. 12 seconds to go in the first half. Bobby Newton looking deep. And it's caught by Tim Brown. What a catch. Touchdown, Alabama State. Go back to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Y'all done. It's 37-7. We're killing these boys. As we get ready for the second half. There goes Bama back on offense. A screen pass to Ryan Fine, the impact player at wide receiver. And he's going up the right side untouched until he's forced out of bounds by Jason Moore. Sad way to come out the locker room. So here we go. That was deflected away by Kyle Gray. That was intended for Hawkins. There goes Courtney Russell on the handoff, and he's tackled near the 10-yard line. Third down now. Stevens with all day to pass. Just about everybody got pancaked up front. And there goes Lois Martin killing all their hopes and dreams. His second interception of the day. Welcome back, Lawrence Martin. What a game for him. 
Justin Chambers finally goes over 1,000 yards for the season after sitting out last week and then missing three games before this. Such a shame because he could have had 3,000 yards again this year. Sad though. But anyway, we'll call it one of our favorite plays and this offensive line just can't hold their blocks up alone. Now it's second and 20. Half back to Red the Chambers and the man all the way from Villa gets all that yardage back. First and 10. Tackled at the 40 yard line. Justin Chambers is no doubt the truth. Greatest running back of all time. And look at this catch by Tim Brown. What a catch. He did it again. Touchdown Alabama State. It's 44 to 7. They were favored to win this game. What was you thinking Lee Corso? You know nothing. So here we go. We got a third and 10 situation. Justin Chambers, the man all the way from BA. Tackled past the 40 yard line. We got first and 10. We're going to keep running up the score on these cats too. Justin Chambers, look at that move. Oh, he tried to do another move, but he couldn't. He has 169 yards rushing though. We're going back to Gene Speedy Singleton. He's going to be the man next year. Hopefully. So as you can see, he leads the team in rushing. So here goes Luton stepping back to pass once again. It's caught by Kevin Scott. He breaks away from the defender, and he gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Wow, what a game for Chambers. A game for Newton, Kevin Scott, and Tim Brown. Now we go to the fourth quarter. 51 to 7. 51 to 7, dog. Look at that, though. That was a great play by Rose, their tight end. Courtney Russell on the play action fake. He gets sacked. Well, Stevens got sacked. And then there goes Courtney Russell once again. Cal Gray has quietly had a great season. I know he hasn't been playing quarterback as much, but we don't. Good Lord, look at that catch by Hawkins. But we don't need Cal Gray to do much on offense now. We're good on offense. But like I said uh, earlier in the video, this could be the last season for Chambers. It's the last season for Kevin Scott. It could be the last season for Gene Singleton. Kyle Gray is a junior, but I don't expect him to leave soon. But look at Justin Chambers going up the gut, man. He's averaging 10 a carry. Bobby Newton stepping back to pass once again. Nobody was open. Tim Brown, we got to work on your hands, dog. You'll make those great deep catches, and then you'll drop the short ones. So we got sacked right there. It's 4th and 19. We decide to settle with the three points with this time. And that kick is good. Good play there. Good kick there. It's 54 to 14. We 40 ball these cats. Bama's not getting up though. They got their backup quarterback in the game and he throws a pick. What a play. Brad Anderson deflected that and Jamal Sykes picked it off. We're going back to Gene Speedy Singleton. He gets inside the 10 yard line. He's tackled at the nine. Gene feeling himself this time though. We wanted him to get one last first down. We decide to milk the clock the rest of the way. And we defeat the Alabama Crimson Tide once again. This time, it was a blowout, courtesy of them Alabama State Hornets. We take them back to Tuscaloosa with the L. Let's take a look at the stats. Bobby Newton didn't play bad. Uh, 9 of 18. I wish he had completed at least one more pass for double digits and completions. He didn't throw a pick, though, so I'm happy about that. Plus, he had three touchdowns. Gene Singleton and Justin Chambers. I truly believe we have the two best running backs in the country. Great running back duo. Tim Brown was amazing today. Kevin Scott was great today. And in case you missed it or forgot, Jason White won't be with us for the rest of this season. So we really need another receiver to step up, but Tim Brown's doing the job so far. I would also like to see Bob Smith get some more reps. Our defense was lights out today. Lawrence Martin, we missed you. We glad you're back. You had two picks, two tackles, one for loss. You was amazing today, man. So yeah, we're still cruising. We're still winning. Thank you for watching. Peace.